Hello, everyone. Um, I am your host, Austin, and this is Nanner of Life. Now, I am stuck at home, just probably like most of you guys, and it's been very tough because there's not really a whole lot to do. I'm a person that's used to being out and doing things, and it's, it's very tough not to be able to do that. So hopefully we all get through this, and we will, but hopefully we um, start getting back to normal as soon as possible. And in this episode, I just wanted to kind of talk about some things that I have been seeing, and one of those things being that apparently there's going to be a new feature for YouTube that is going to rival the TikTok app. Now, if you don't know what TikTok is, um, it's basically an app where you can share videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's basically an app uh, where you can share videos that are either 15, between 15 and 60 seconds uh, long. And it's taken everybody by storm. I mean, a lot of people use it, including a lot of famous people. Uh, a lot of influential people, and it's fun. I like it. I'm I'm on it myself, and I mean it's just something that's fun. It's easy to grow your TikTok um, channel or your TikTok page, and get followers and views and likes. And that's one of the big things I like about it is that when you post a video you get views very quickly. Um, now I'm not going to say that you get a lot of views all the time, but for me, posting on TikTok, I've gotten a lot more views each video way quicker than on YouTube or any other platform for that matter. And it's just a good time to pass the, uh, you know, especially the quarantine life. It's, it's a good thing to have to pass the time. Um, and apparently YouTube is coming out with a feature, um, that's going to rival it, and I'm actually looking right now, I'm going to look at the article that I was reading, um, uh, just give me one moment. Do -do. There we go, okay. I'm going to look at an article from uh, Mac Rumors. That's MacRumors.com, and the title says YouTube is going to launch a new feature that's going to rival TikTok. The feature will be called Shorts. Um, apparently, it's going to allow users. Uh, t -t 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 it's going, to it's going to exist within the current YouTube mobile app and will allow users to take advantage of YouTube's catalog of licensed music, which, that's great. And I hear a train coming. Apparently, it's going to be it's expected to be out by the end of this year. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I can't wait to actually try it out and see how how it works um, and by the way I will cut if the uh, if, if, I, if my nearby train goes through which it is now so I will be back sorry about that everybody um, there was a train which I, I live by a train and sometimes it comes through at the most inconvenient times so I do apologize but yeah so basically that, that the rival that YouTube is going to come out with it's sounds good I don't know how well it's going to do because it, it seems like even though it's going to be a rival to TikTok I don't think it's going to be as easy to get views and follows and likes and all that stuff like it is on TikTok it's, it's just a lot easier on TikTok to actually 
get likes, comments, and views on your videos. Um, and I don't know if it's going to be like that on the new YouTube uh, app or the new YouTube feature that they're going to come out with um, to kind of rival TikTok. But um, so yeah, that's that's basically it about the um, rival to TikTok. And after the break, we're going to go ahead and talk about how I've been going about the uh, quarantine thing and about a few things I've heard that some states are going to open back up. And we may even talk about some, uh, some video games. So stay tuned after this short break and we'll get to talking about that stuff, guys. So I kind of want to talk about uh, Anchor. It is the easiest way to make a podcast, and it is absolutely free. They have amazing tools that allow you to record and edit right from your smartphone or your computer, and they automatically distribute your podcast for you, so it can basically be heard anywhere, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Podcasts, and much more. Uh, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listeners, no minimum amount of listeners. It's basically everything that you need to make an awesome podcast all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Okay, welcome back. And um, so yeah, basically what I want to kind of go over is... It seems like there are some states that are finally starting to relax um, some restrictions that have been in place due to the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. And I don't know how that's going to go because, I mean, I'm not a doctor or anything like that. I'm not a scientist. Um, and I don't know all of the things that our governments and doctors and things know. But it seems like, to me anyways, in my opinion, it might be a little bit too early. And I think that if they fully open things back up, that there are going to be a lot of spikes in the number of cases that people are going to have. Because now, if you think about it, if they just open things back up immediately like they were, people are going to be going out. Because, I mean, nobody wants to be quarantined, you know, it's, it's driving a lot of people crazy, and uh, people, so people are going to naturally want to get out, and that could accelerate the spread of COVID-19. Um, as far as I'm aware, most places are slowly relaxing restrictions, they're not just, you know, opening everything back up all at once or anything like that, which is good. Um, and, and I hope soon, sooner rather than later anyways, I hope that we are able, you know, to go to the mall or the local bar or whatever and spend time with our friends, um, get out and be able to do things again. Because me, personally, like I said earlier, I prefer being out and I prefer having things to do um i just prefer being able to do things especially since my grandmother recently passed away i want to be able to get out and do things um because basically because um you know i haven't really gotten to do a whole lot to kind of decompress and and think about things and things like that other than being stuck at home. I want to be able to go to the mall, go, you know, have a drink at the bar or whatever, um, hang out with friends, things like that, just to kind of decompress, have some fun, try to enjoy life, but with the whole, you know, pandemic that everybody's been going through, um, it's difficult for me, and it's, and it's not just for me, I mean, it's everybody, you know, right? I mean, everybody's been having a hard time with this whole pandemic and it's not just with boredom it's with their health their family members health um 
and, and you know, it's affected people in so many different ways. And it's it's going to continue to affect people in, in, in ways because the economies are different. Um, people's livelihoods are different. So, you know, we just, we all got to stick this out. We got to st stick together and get through this the best that we can. Um, one thing I've been doing is playing a lot of video games, um, watching a lot of YouTube, TV, doing TikTok. Um, it's basically really about it. I mean, I, had, I, I don't get me wrong, I have gone out for things like uh, groceries and to get food and things like that. But other than that, uh, not really done a whole lot. Now, as I said, my, grandma, my grandmother recently passed away. So I did get to go to her funeral and things like that, but we did have a restriction. We had to have less than 10 people at her funeral. So there was nine of us that was allowed there. And that includes the funeral director that had to be there because, well, he, he works there and everything like that. And so, yeah, so really it was eight family members, one funeral director. And um, unfortunately, I, I kind of wish we were able to have more people just because, you know, my, my grandmother was a special person. There were so many people that she helped, that loved her, that she loved. And she deserves to have had as many people at her funeral as, as um, you know, that would have been there. She deserves to have had as many people that would have wanted to be there. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate that um, she didn't get to have that. So, yeah, so I've been playing um, games, like I said. Mainly the games I've been playing is Skyrim, Apex Legends. I don't know if you guys have he ever heard of Apex Legends, but it's amazing. It's, it's a very great battle royale game. Um, I'm not too much into Fortnite, not really. I've been playing Minecraft, I've been playing, um, let's see, Subnautica, that's a great uh, sandbox type game. Um, if you like Minecraft, you would probably like Subnautica. And I've been wanting to play the new Animal Crossing, I think it's Animal Crossing New Horizons, or New Horizon, I'm not sure if it's plural or singular, but... Um, I have heard nothing but good things about the game, and I really want to play it, but I, I unfortunately cannot afford to uh, buy it right now, and so I'm just going to have to wait till I can, or till I can get it uh, some other way, like if it, get, if it goes on sale or something, I might be able to get it then, I hope, but I do definitely want to be able to play that. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about, you know, smartphones, I love technology, so I've been watching a lot of videos about new smartphones coming out, like the new iPhone SE, which, by the way, the new iPhone SE looks like a very good deal. It starts at $399, I think it's 64 gigabyte model. Um, it's got the Apple A11, or A, sorry, it's got the Apple A13 Bionic chip. Um, and I used, I had the original iPhone SE, and I loved it. And this new iPhone SE that they just came out with, the 2020 edition, it comes in, I think it's red, white, and black for the colors. And it's basically in an iPhone 8 body. Um, it's got IP67 water resistance, Touch ID. So if you love Touch ID and having a fingerprint uh, sensor, then that's definitely something you might want to look into. Um, so yeah, that's basically the only things I've been doing. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are keeping um, entertained in some way. I hope you guys are able to see your family and friends in some way. And I hope you are safe. I hope you are healthy. And once this thing gets, um, once we get through this pandemic, I think we'll be we'll all be better for it, and I believe that. So thank you guys for listening to Manner of Life. 
visit our Facebook page. You can just search us. Um, it's basically just search manner of life and you, it should pop up. And we also have a, I have a blog. It's more of a personal blog, but it is manner of life wordpress.com and I'm also going to be posting these videos to my YouTube channel um, I've got to figure out a way to actually download it and I'm just gonna have static images for now um, but I, I do want to post it so I hope you guys take care have fun stay safe I'll see you next time